So today I'm gonna to share about five different healthy recipes, snacks, you could say meals, that are so simple, so easy. I am not a good cook. I hate being in the kitchen, but it is important to me to get good nutrition into my body. These are so simple, anyone can do them, and they're so delicious, they're, they're really, really good. I have teamed up with Primal Kitchen and Thrive Market for this video, which I'll get to them in a second, but let's just jump into one of my favorite things that I make all the time, and it's just, it's so easy and delicious, and it is my buffalo chicken steamed cauliflower. It sounds way more complicated than it is. There's actually no chicken in it, but it tastes like there is. Not that chicken's bad, it's just, this is like a good way to get some vegetables in you. All you do is get uh, a good head of cauliflower. I try to go organic and then get a pot with one of those steamer basket thingies. You know, you get it steaming, you add the, uh, the cauliflower into the basket and steam it for about 20 minutes. It's really quick because cauliflower is really easy. Once uh, the cauliflower is soft to touch, like with a fork, then you just put it in a bowl. And I do like to add some butter sometimes. You don't have to do this. I just notice when I eat some really good savory chicken wings, they do taste a little buttery. So sometimes I'll add butter, but the star of the show is this Primal Kitchen Original Buffalo Sauce. Oh my goodness, you just drizzle this on over top the cauliflower and you just eat it and it tastes like you are eating real buffalo chicken wings, but you're actually getting some really good nutrition it, just from the cauliflower. So that leads me to Primal Kitchen and Thrive Market. So as I mentioned, I did team up with them for this video. I've been using them for years and I will get to what Thrive Market actually is, but I get Primal Kitchen products from them all the time. I mean, they're, they're they're my favorite food brand, and I'm not just saying that because they don't use seed oils. That's what kind of caught my attention about them. They're very low sugar, um, like this is unsweetened ketchup, which you guys, I don't eat sugar, uh, but they use avocado oil instead of sunflower oil or canola oil. So they just have really honest ingredients, just amazing flavor. I feel so good about using their sauces, um, their, their condiments, they've got like ketchup, mayo, even if you just switch out some of those like things you use all the time, um, even spaghetti sauces. There's this amazing tomato basil spaghetti sauce we always get. They just launched new dipping sauces, which I have been loving the last few months. So I'm talking like the yum yum sauce. There's special sauce like for your burgers. There's tacos. I mean, th these are these are my new favorite things. Okay, so if you're gonna try anything, I mean, you could try the condiments, but maybe try the dipping sauces. So if you wanna try Thrive Market, I know a lot of people already use them. Um, maybe you do, but if you've never tried them, they're actually an online-based membership grocery store with tons of just really high quality food, baby products, even cleaning supplies. You know, you place your order, everything's delivered directly to your door. And then with every order, you actually save a lot of money. Like there's savings with each order. And I'm not just saying that. And there's actually products and brands that I can't get at my regular grocery store. And when I'm shopping on Thrive Market, just keep in mind, you really can kind of like sort based on what's important to you. So like, I don't eat sugar, so I can, sort by low sugar or no sugar I, you know, items. I can do high protein snacks. You could do organic, vegan. So if you do wanna try Primal Kitchen and Thrive Market, I will have a link down below in the description box and I'll also pin it in the comment section, but you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift when you join. It's just thrivemarket.com slash Shea Whitney. And as we go along in the video, I am gonna be using more items from my box that I'm always ordering. Moving right along to my crock pot chicken, which is essentially barbecue pulled chicken, which I know is not revolutionary, but hear me out. Everyone else that does this, you're basically eating a sugar bomb, uh, really, because every barbecue sauce out there is so full of sugar. I like to do it differently. Um, I'll get a crock pot. I will put chicken in the crock pot. What you're seeing here though, I was just making this for me and Josh. So normally there's a lot more chicken going into this, but my kids were at my parents' house this night. Then I get the Primal Kitchen Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. This is super low in sugar. There's no artificial sweeteners. Again, no seed oils, but it is so delicious. The flavor is amazing. And I will just drizzle this on top of the chicken. And then I'll set the crock pot to cook for about four to six hours. And then, you know, hours later when the chicken is nice and tender, here's here's like a really game changing hack if you don't know this already. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but to shred chicken, what you need to do is actually just put the chicken in a glass or metal bowl and then get a hand mixer. And then that will instantly shred the chicken in like five seconds flat. Like it is so much faster and easier than using a fork. And then you can use that pulled chicken for sandwiches. You could use it for a burrito bowl, tacos, or you could just eat it plain, but it is just, 
so much better than I feel like the regular barbecue pulled chicken. Okay, so we've talked a lot about savory and salty foods. Let's move on to some sweet treats that are still really healthy, low sugar, but really delicious. We're gonna talk about my famous cookie dough bites. Oh my goodness, this might be the star of the video. Um, I will have recipes listed down below in the description box. However, this one in particular, I really just measure with my heart. You'll see what I mean as we go along, but this clip you're seeing is just kind of the overview of the ingredients that I like to use. You can kind of tweak it to your liking though, but I do like to use some type of healthier flour, whether it be almond flour, um, it could be oat flour. I also like to use a baking flour. It's kind of like a combo mix. I do get that from Thrive Market. But for this time around, I did combine the baking flour and the almond flour, kind of in equal parts into a mixing bowl. And then I took a scoop of peanut butter. You could do a little bit of peanut butter or a lot more if you're really into that flavor, um, or you could just skip it entirely. Uh, I like to add some vanilla extract a little bit of maple syrup. Now I didn't put that much in because again, I like to keep this low sugar, but you could definitely add a lot more if you want it to be super sweet. It's really important to add some salt. I like to use Celtic sea salt. It really brings up the flavor. Now, here's the key. You're gonna start with adding a little bit of milk. I like to use raw milk. You could use whatever milk you like. It could be almond milk, whatever. But start, start slow and then you'll take like a spatula and start to mix it around and you'll probably need to add a little little bit more milk, but you wanna get it in like a sticky cookie dough consistency. And you can taste it along the way to see if you want to add more maple syrup, if you want it sweeter or whatever. But once you get it into the, the cookie dough consistency, you can add some healthy chocolate chips. I love this brand, again, super low sugar, in fact, like no sugar, but it's still really, really healthy and great. I love it. And then you just roll them into balls and you can eat them. There's no eggs, so you can eat them raw and it tastes like real cookie dough. But again, so healthy. It's such a, a fun thing to eat. I'll eat it at the end of the, the night. Sometimes I have a little like craving for it, but yeah, you should totally try it out. Oh, and I wasn't gonna even put this in the video, but why not? I, I got this in my box this month and I already had one, but this is by the brand Mosh and it is a cookie dough crunch bar and it meets all of my uh, standards. Like there's, again, no seed oils. There's no added sugar, 12 grams of protein. There's ashwagandha, omega-3s, lion's mane, vitamins B12. Like there's really, really good ingredients in this. So if you just wanna cut corners and have some cookie dough, you could you could try this. Now another uh, sweet treat I like to enjoy almost daily is my acai bowl, which I've put this in previous videos, but I have since tweaked how I make it and what I even put in it. So I wanted to share kind of like my updated recipe that is truly a nutrition bomb. I throw so much stuff into this. It's just incredibly, incredibly healthy for you. And it's like you're eating chocolate ice cream. Like I'm not just saying that, like truly. I'm gonna go through this quick. Again, everything will be down below in the description box and you, can, you don't have to add all of this. I'm just saying you really can hide so many good things in it and it doesn't taste like you're eating healthy stuff. It tastes like you're eating chocolate ice cream. The most important ingredient is obviously the frozen acai. Make sure you get the unsweetened kind, okay? Uh, so you put this in a blender. You do need a good blender. I have the Vitamix blender. You need frozen bananas. That's another crucial, crucial thing. Don't just put a regular banana in there. It needs to be frozen. I like to also add some frozen strawberries. You could add frozen blueberries, whatever. But then I like to add flaxseed. I will add some protein powder, not that much. Um, some cacao powder, raw cacao powder. That is such a superfood, but it gives that chocolate flavor. I'll add some moringa powder, which is kind of like a green vegetable powder that is so good for you. I add a lot of nuts because I have terrible teeth and I can't really chew nuts very well, but it's packed full of really good nutrition. So I hide in almonds. I'll throw in pumpkin seeds, Brazil nuts, hazel nuts. I like to throw in a big thing of spinach. So I'm getting some really good leafy greens in there. I will um, put some vanilla extract. I like to put in, again, some Celtic sea salt to bring out the flavor. I'll add some milk. Now, again, the milk, you wanna go slow at first. Don't add too much milk because then it will be a soupy mess. So start slow, uh, add in like a cup of ice, and then you're just going to start blending it together. And if you feel like you need more milk, you can add more milk, but you want to get it into a nice, you know, strong ice cream consistency. You want to see that blender really turn over and then you're left with this. And that's how you know, like that little design there that you did a good job and you'll just put it into a bowl. And I like to eat mine plain, but I was making this for Josh. And so I added some fresh 
fruit on top. You can do bananas. You could do, we added some blueberries. We added some almond shavings. He likes those. You could add honey on top, granola. But this is such... <laughs> Such a healthy but delicious treat. Okay, so I decided to throw these potato chips in the video last minute because it is another healthy snack that I like to eat and it's potato chips, believe it or not. This is like the only brand of potato chips that I found that are made with avocado oil instead of the seed oils, okay? So this is by the brand Boulder Canyon. I just pulled it out of my box. I prefer the thin and crispy kind. Oh my goodness, they're the most delicious potato chips ever and I just feel so much better about eating these compared to any other potato chip brand out there. Speaking of potatoes, that was actually a seller segue. I like french fries, they're not they're not good for you, but I like to kind of make, the, this is like a new development that I've done. I like to bake a potato. I will just take organic potatoes, get like a, a sheet pan. First I like to stab it with a fork um, to let some of the steam out and then cover it or drizzle olive oil on top, put some sea salt, on top and then you put it in the oven at like 425 for an hour. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You should wrap it in aluminum foil. Yeah, I'm a wacko. I don't use aluminum foil, especially on my food. So you can actually bake a potato without aluminum foil. It's just gonna make the skin a little crispier, but leave the potatoes in the oven for one hour and then you're left with a really delicious baked potato that's soft inside. And so I like to go in and add, you know, back to those Primal Kitchen dipping sauces, that special sauce that they just launched like a few months ago. Oh my gosh, it's delicious on a burger, but I have discovered that if I drizzle that in my baked potato, it's like I'm eating a French fry. It sounds weird, you don't have to try it. I'm just saying, I think it's really, it's really good. So anyway, that has like been my newest weird snack that I'm making for myself all the time. So consider that, but I hope you found this video kind of interesting, maybe kind of weird, but I hope you try some of the recipes and then don't forget to try Primal Kitchen and Thrive Market. Again, I'll have a link down below in the description box. I'll pin it in the comment section, but you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift when you join. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.